babies. No matter whether they have fur or feathers, baby animals are just the cutest. And you can find so many different cute animal babies on a farm. Let's visit them and learn about all the babies you can find in farmyards. And like all young animals, they love to play and explore. When calves are born, they only weigh about 65 to 90 pounds. But by the time they are grown up, they can weigh up to 2,400 pounds. That is a lot of grass to eat. By comparison, when you were born, you probably weighed about 7 or 8 pounds. And when you're grown up, you'll probably weigh between 100 and 200 pounds. And it will take you around 20 years to grow up. Calves do it in a year and a half. When they are little, calves drink milk. When they get a little older, they learn to eat grass and hay. To grow up so much, so fast, calves eat almost all the time. And when they're not eating, they're sleeping or playing. Cows are social animals who like to have friends and be together, just like people. You probably like to be with your friends and family too. And they sure are cute. But they aren't the only babies on the farm. Horses are called foals when they're very little. When they get a little older, girls are called fillies and boys are called colts. Just like calves, foals love to run and play and they grow up fast and they need to spend a lot of time eating. It takes a foal about four or five years to grow up into an adult horse. Some foals will grow up and learn to haul loads and do farm work. Others will grow up and learn to carry riders. But no matter what kind of work they will do when they grow up, their job as a baby is to eat, learn how to be friends with other horses, and to be very, very cute. Not all farm babies are as big as a calf or a foal. Some of them are very, very small. Farms have baby birds too. A farm might have baby chickens, baby ducks, baby geese, even some unusual birds like ostriches. Baby birds aren't born like baby mammals. They hatch from eggs. All baby birds can be called chicks, but some have special names too. Baby ducks are ducklings, and baby geese are goslings. Some 
farm babies are hatched in a nest by a mother hen. Others are hatched in an incubator, a special place that is kept warm and safe for the eggs and babies. No matter how they are hatched, most new baby farm chicks can walk soon after they're born. Some baby birds that nest in trees or high places are helpless for weeks after they hatch. They don't even have feathers yet. But birds that nest on the ground have to be able to follow their mothers to stay safe. So, baby ducks and geese learn how to swim very soon after they hatch. Baby birds learn to follow and trust whoever takes care of them. That's called imprinting. So, if a person takes care of a baby chick, that chick will run after that person. Ducks and geese can fly, and even turkeys and chickens can fly a little bit, enough to get up on a perch. Chicks can't fly until they get their grown-up feathers. We call this fledging. Most farm chicks fledge when they are a few months old. And they're all grown up at around one year for small birds. An ostrich won't grow up for three or four years. But that's not surprising. They've got a lot more growing to do. And there are even more babies on the farm. Lots of farms have goats. Baby goats are called kids, just like you. All baby animals like to play. Kids love it more than anyone. They like to climb, explore, and roughhouse together. Do you like to play like that too? Most human children do. Maybe that's why we call them kids. Kids grow up in two to three years, but even adult goats are curious and playful. Some goats give milk and others have silky hair that can be trimmed and made into very soft yarn. But all kinds of goats like to have fun. are even more kinds of farm babies to meet. Farms have puppies, kittens, and even more animal babies. Maybe we'll meet some of them next time. <laughs>